Hell, tis I, Critzy Bear. Welcome to the uh, Dwarf Adventure. Yep. <clears throat> That's a bonus episode, probably, because it's the monotony of the first couple days. Immediately uh, after the last bonus episode, so you don't gotta worry about uh, uh, this being disjointed or anything. It's not like I've been sitting around for 20 minutes trying to figure out if I should even uh, record this or if I should retcon what happened last episode. Um, but if you missed everything, I basically made a new character and um, I... Uh, uh, I abandoned, well, I retired my last fortress uh, simply because it just it wasn't fun for me. It was <clears throat> so now we're going to be playing uh, the, uh, the this guy, Kopo! Or Kopo! The Rat! Kopo Rumosan! <laughs> Who, uh, who grew up in a cave, apparently, and uh, ha thinks very highly of himself, and the biggest treat of all, he is a rat person, which is only slightly larger than a kobold. So it's essentially a kobold play, ex play except uh, slightly more fun. So I gotta worry about things like badgers. <laughs> oh, wait, I discovered a cave entrance. Where? Wait. Is there actually a cave here? Uh, where is it, though? Where am I? Am I missing something here? Hmm. Hmm. Most concerning. Perhaps I can begin my travels in the subterranean wilderness. Uh, did I start with a crossbow? Um. I, I started with dog liver and a wooden dagger. I don't... Know why? Because I'm pretty sure I'm part of a human civilization. Um, so is there like a cave entrance over here somewhere? Where Where's that cave I've been told about? I heard that there's a cave, but I I, I don't see no cave. I'm not. Oh, up, up. Here we go. Here's the cave. Hello. Let me go ahead and sneak. I am concealed by dark. I mean, <clears throat> I am. Oh Jesus! There he is. Oh boy. There he is, the boss Adith Adapulagith. What's, uh, what's, oh, you know what, you know what would be nice, um, to get up here, uh, so I guess I'm some kind of bandit or something, because it's like, there's a boss here, and, uh, I'm in a cave. Whatever, let me just, uh, let me just keep going, and you know what might be nice, um, I know that I, I plug this a lot, but it's like 80 degrees up in here, and, 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 well, actually, let me check the real temperature. Temperature. Anyway, it's like way hot up in here, and, um, my computer is making a ton of noises, and it's, it, it would be very opportune to put in something like this. From my good friends over at Tabletop Audio, again. Sorry if you watched my last season and saw where I was using that all the time. <clears throat> Got some nice desert sounds. Alright, anyway. Um, you know, actually, I think there's like a Wild West one. Um, I mean, let me get that up in here instead, since that is also a desert, but it's also more fun and whimsical instead of a, a desolate wasteland. Anyway, so what we're going to be doing this episode is I'm going to be going and hunting down, um, elegant. Oh, dude, you can walk across rivers now. Praise! Praise, Armok! Anyway, um. I'm going to be hunting down an alligator, hopefully, and um, trying to uh, bust out his teeth, even though I'm a rat person. Thankfully, I have a bronze weapon instead of, like, I don't know, copper or silver or something, so I can probably, you know, stab his mouth pretty okay. Um, let's see. Here we go. Here we go. We got some... 
windy sounds. And we got a uh, cowboy music. I'm gonna master these planes. A man goes out in them planes. He don't know what he's gonna find. But more often than not, he's gonna find himself. He's gonna find himself, and it's up to him if he likes what he sees. Does he say, damn, I look fine? Or does he say, it's time to make a change? I grew up for six years in that cave. I'm now a middle-aged rat man. And I don't know. I don't know if I like who I am. Oh, a badger. That'll probably be a, a fight to the death at my current size. Hey, dude. Uh, where, where are you going, even, though? What, what are you... Hey. Hey, get over here. I'm gonna try to wrestle him. Dang. Whatever. I guess... I, I guess he's afraid of me? I, th I thought badgers liked fighting. Whatever. <clears throat> anyway, uh, yeah, so basically I'm hunting an alligator out here by the rivers. We're gonna kick his teeth out. Uh, thankfully I don't have to learn to swim this time. I probably don't even have to look at these guys. The only things in groups down here are hippos or, um... What are they called? Uh, fish. Yeah, you know those swimmy, scaly things that are everywhere. Yeah, that's... I couldn't remember the name. Yep, fish. <laughs> it's a long and lonesome road I've chosen for myself. I just couldn't be... I just couldn't handle being around home any longer. <laughs> they treat me different because of my skin disorder. And the fact that I matured by the age of three years old. I don't know what sets me apart, but I thought my whole life growing up that I were a normal human man. But they thought not. You don't know adversity till... till you have all the neighborhood kid of children mocking your teeth, going... Or is that squirrel sounds? I thought that's rodent sounds in general. Whatever. I don't know what it is. When darkness is around you, you can't look in the mirror. Hey, Raven, you will be my first prey. Simply because I think I might be small enough that it will be a f fair fight. Ha! Ah, you will be my first prey! Die, avian creature! Hey! See? See what I mean? He's, uh, he's actually putting up a fight. I, I, I attacked him and I didn't immediately kill him. Oh, and now he's dead. Alright. Hey guys, glad you don't care about that, what I just did there. Um, grab this one by the neck. There we go. Just fight that one to the death. Bruising them all. Yeah, he's, he's putting up a fight. Boy, you know, being small sure is convenient, because now I can attack <laughs> birds and actually have an honorable duel if I grab them in time. Boy, I can't wait to try to kill frickin' Mega Beasts. <laughs> I don't know, this might be a, a sort of little cup thing for a while, you know? Looking for smaller things to kill, like, uh... Ooh, spooky dogs! And, um... Terrifying eagles! <laughs> okay, how are my skills now? Am I getting anywhere with that? Uh, tracker, uh... Spearman, eh, no, not really. 
The only efficient way to train these early levels is by hunting down an alligator. It's a rite of passage down in uh, Critzy Bear land. Gotta hunt that alligator. You ain't a man if you don't. You ain't a man if you don't. Going down that long and lonesome road. Looking for a gator to kill. To make your pa proud. More ravens. More fish. Oh, I hope I'm actually recording desktop audio. Yes, okay. Because during the stream, I muted it. <laughs> well, what's this down here? Another stingray. I don't know, I could always, like, find a... a kobold or something and, like, break his arms. If I got a little better at, uh, wrestling, maybe. Oh, shit, hippos. Don't go near... Sorry for swearing. Don't go near them, guys. This episode's probably only gonna be, like, half an hour long, um... Because, uh, I actually do have other stuff I want to record tonight, and I already started late. <clears throat> so... We're just going to get a little bit of a head start before I start considering things the first real episode, you know? Uh, if you're watching this, you're watching it of your own volition, and you don't care that I'm just wandering down a river making bad, um... Man, I can't even remember who I'm referencing with that voice. But it's bad, either way. In all likelihood, if I try to go up against something when I get impatient, I'm going to die. How far have I traveled? Well, not even that far. Man, wouldn't Dwarf Fortress be a way more boring game if you uh, if you didn't fast travel? Ooh, an honorable opponent at last. I will break your claws, steal your teeth, prepare for to be copad. I will sing of your doom. Kia! All right, there goes his teeth. <laughs> Where you think you're going? I didn't say you can leave. Grab him. Oh, God damn it! Come on. Get out of these waters. You're mine now. Didn't you know? Rats can swim. Ha! Ah, foolish. Foolish. Uh, what? Are, what are mar what? Are, what are badgers? They're not marsupials. I know that much. Um. Shoot. I can't remember the name for, uh, what, you know, weasels, stoats, badgers, um, I almost said porcupines, but no, those are rodents, right? Dang it. Well, whatever. Um, let me get his, uh, other teeth. Ooh, I actually got an attack of opportunity for it. Okay. Get him. Ah, oh, god dang it. Okay, okay, um, he is enraged now, so I'm gonna go ahead and release him, and uh, get back onto the surface, even though that will be uh, a benefit for him. It will also benefit me, because, uh, what, can't you swim? You okay there? You alright? You, you coming? Ah. Come on. Jog at him. Oh, there he goes, now he's angry. Come on. You wanna fight? Gonna just train up my dodging and uh, blocking. Let me check where my dodging is now. Um, adequate with like two little ticks into it. Okay. Okay, yeah, I'm training pretty efficiently. Um, once I get into like, uh, I don't know, like. Uh, what's the level above competent? No, hey! No, hey, you get back here! You get back here! Get over here! How fast am I? 2.7? Is that average? I can't remember. So I am small, so I'm afraid that'll make me sm uh, slower. Get over here! Uh, let me try to hit his, like, legs or something. I don't want to hit his neck. Wild charge, um, for his legs. Yep, got him. Alright. Did I, like, damage it beyond be beyond repair? Let me see. Um, sensory nerve. That's good. Um, fractured bone. Also good. Tearing apart muscle. Good. 
Ligament has been bruised. Good. All right. Let me try to, like, uh, wrestle, um... Wait, so what was that one? That was his... Left? Left front leg? All right, so I want to get his right... Right front leg. Get that. Lock. And break. Hell yeah. Shoot. He is able to... What was that, a bite? Or, um... Yeah, it's a bite. He's still got his teeth. Huh, <laughs> he can't go anywhere now. You are helpless as a spider caught in the web. Wait, no, right, this... This guy's, um... This guy's a, a bard, right? Oh, man, I need more musical references, um... That's... What's the name for when a song, like, starts calming down, um... Name for... Um... Uh, uh, uh. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not Descent. Mm. Well, whatever. All right. Quick bash. Hey, he's got no teeth. Uh, what else can Badgers hit with? Uh, I took care of his claws. Front claws, anyway. Now he's got um no teeth. I'm going to take care of his back claws just for good measure. Um, front, uh, rear, rear, rear legs, um, uh, left, right, left, right, left, right, uh, rear leg, yeah, right rear leg, lock, break, um, and now, that was right, right, uh, yep, right rear leg, and now, Left rear leg. Come on. Left rear leg. There we go. Look at how fast I found that one. Hit lock. Break. Alright. Now try to attack me. Come on. Get enraged, dude. Hey. Hey, there we go. Come on. He's both enraged and terrified? What? What? He is so angry about his circumstances. I can just calmly walk after him, though. Come on, attack me, dude. Come on. Freaking attack me. I want to see what you use. I thought you were braver than this. Let me look up what his... What, what badgers are. Um, badger... Um, animal, animal, yeah, um, mustelid? Yeah, that sounds right. I thought you were braver than this, mustelid. You disgrace your ancestors and your totem. You are not even worthy to be on my hood. I will not consider you my first kill unless you try... I mean, um, uh, <clears throat> you are not worthy of hearing my song. Here we go. What, what, uh, what is he doing to attack? Um, attacking me with, with like what? What, what is he? What is he doing? There we go. What happened? Oh. No, we wait. Ah, oh, god dang it! Come on. No, dude, don't run away. There we go. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Now we're abusing mechanics. That's what I call real practice. Can you... When are you going to be able to ask people to spar with you? That'd be real nice. Because, like, Dwarf Fortress... Are, oh, he's... Oh, poor, poor, poor guy got all tuckered out. I'm going to stand over here so he has to, like, crawl over to me. And uh, recover a little stamina before he gets here. Just leave him leave him alone for a little bit. Poor guy's had a rough day. How much did he level me up? I'm all now a competent fighter, competent dodger. Um, what about shield user? Still dabbling in shield user. Um, what about observer? All right, I've gained a level in observer too. Hey, bud. I might just start wrestling him soon. Mm, you know what? You know what would uh, help with my shield user if I just like grab him? 
just grab him anywhere. <laughs> you think you're getting away, huh? There we go. Ooh, what did he do? Wait, how did he scratch me? What? How? Boy. Hmm. Somebody's gonna lose your claws. Next time you're exhausted anyway. Let me see, um, yep, blocked with a copper shield, that's okay. How's my shield user now? Still dabbling. That's okay, I gotta, I gotta get better at it. Make sure I stop if I start, like, bleeding or anything. When you gotta get tuckered out, dude? Thanks for the practice, though. Oh, now he's tuckered out. Now let me, uh... Wait, is he, is he still tuckered out? Okay, yeah. Let me just, uh... Surgically remove all of his tongue. Oh, no, that sounds bad. Um, let me surgically remove his feet, since he's abusing them. Yum. Oh, God. Ew, it's still in my mouth. Ew. <laughs> Nyomp. Okay, so that's what is right front paw. Okay. Oh, left front paw. Okay. Shake it around. Come on. Come on. Oh man, I killed him. God dang it. Ah oh, well. You win some, you lose some. You gotta. No when to hold them. No when to fold them. No when to walk away. No when to. I can't remember the rest. If I was really mean, I could look up the lyrics. Ooh, an Ibex. I can probably get killed by that. Hello, friend. You will be my new prey. I don't know, though. Oh, boy. Hmm. My dodging is a little better. I've got that observer skill. I don't know. Do I want to risk? Yes, I want to risk it. Oh, he's frail, too. Alright. Wild kick for the head? No, I'm a, I'm a rat person. Tail. Um. If I could get two hits. <laughs> Ooh, you can get two hits. Let me try some... Uh, let me try an experimental tactic. Multi-attack. Quick multi-attack. Okay. Stab for there. Okay. What, what eye was that? Oh, shoot. What is, was that his left eye or his right eye? Oh, God. Oh, God. Whatever. Um. Right eye, I want to say. Z, quick. Um. Scratch for the other eye. How do we got that? Um. Let's see. Oh, man, I didn't. Alright, so. A silent stab in the left eye. Okay, that did the trick. Um. Silently scratch. Tore it. So I didn't quite get it. Oh, wait, I did! He can't see anymore! Sweet! Alright. Alright, alright, so I can do pretty much whatever I want with this dude now. Um, such as... Oh boy, he might be too big though. Um, let me grab with my left hand his, um... Right rear hoof. Lock. And now, break. Okay, ooh. Right, so he's not too big. Right rear hoof, now broken. Thing is, I can't really do anything with his horns, can I? Well, I might be able to, like, uh, power attack his horns. Boy, uh, this is some, like, real sadistic shit. Alright, which, which one was that? Um. Right. Okay, right hoof. 
left hook, right rear hook, or well, it doesn't matter. Um, okay, now left. I think it was left rear. I mean right rear. So whatever. Okay, left rear, lock, break. Okay. Left rear. Right rear. Okay, now any of the fronts. Ooh, left front. Snap. Man, look at how good this guy is at staying conscious. You are worthy prey. You. With your antlers, I will create my first crown. Oh, wait, right, I'm supposed to be a bard. I will show your gifts to the world, worthy beast! Alright, um... Left front hoof. Left hoof... Oh, wait. Uh-oh, why couldn't I break that one? Um... Left lower arm. Left front hoof. Uh-oh. Let me try putting my weapons away and getting it with my hand. Left front hoof. Yep, I can only pinch. Hmm. Hmm. Why does he only have ankles on... Whatever. Let me, maybe, barring that, I can just break the entire leg. But that didn't work with the um, other dude. Okay, so that was... Uh, left front leg... Now I need the right front leg, and then I'm going to try to break off his horns. I'm sorry this seems so sadistic. I promise you, he's feeling no pain. See, he gave in to pain. Okay. Right horn. Wild. Bash. Yeah, nah. That ain't, that ain't, that ain't going to slide. Um, right horn. Kick. Kick. Hey, there we go. All right. Kicking works. And then left horn. Left horn. Kick. And now teeth. Thankfully, he's an herbivore, so I don't think he's got any fangs. Okay. Bash. There, done. Oh, shoot. I don't. I should have made note of which way the horns went. All right, wake up. The hour is now. Give him a second here. Okay. I'm gonna put that stuff away. Combat preference. Close combat. Okay. I will now become a superhuman wrestler by repeatedly grabbing and releasing. Oh, wait. Gouging? What? Oh, great. Yeah. Great. Let me just gouge his eyes out repeatedly. Oh, boy. Oh, come on. Attack him. What is he... What, is he, like, unconscious again? Oh, good. One of his horns is on that tile. I might make, like, his horn into a knife or something if I can find the other one. Unless it's also on that tile. Nope. Where's your horn gone? Fair creature. Tooth. Tooth, tooth. Tooth, 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 oh boy. Toothy tooth, ah, there's his other horn. All right, good. Let me go pick that up real quick while, he, uh, while I give him a breather. Okay. Hello, friends. I guess I gotta reinitiate combat. Just a uh, quick little, quick little. Oh. I, I struck him with my horn. No, put it in your backpack, idiot. Okay, there we go. Grab, release, grab, release, grab, release. Yep, that's how you do it. That's how you get to be a master. Now I need a breather. Okay. See, this is also how you train swimming very good. You just catch and release, you know? See, I'm no more sinister than a fisher. He's dead. Dang it. Alright. Let me, uh... What do I need for a knife? Let's see. Um, bone. Dagger. 
Dagger? Out of horn? No, not the teeth. Where's the horn? Horn, horn, horn. Are these all the same page? Well, where the heck did his horn go? Ah. Where's that horn? There it is. Do these not count as horns? Do I have to butcher them? Butcher? Yeah. <laughs> For some reason. Ah. So I'm going to need another knife for that. Okay, shell, which is apparently a good material for rocks. Is this it? Yep, here we go. Drop the shell. Sharpen them rocks. How do you do that again? Um, napping, right? Or um, basic reactions, sharpen rocks. Um, yep, there we go. Now I can butcher, right? Butcher. Now what do those drop? Somehow they dropped the horn bone. You know, the horn bone! What, you never heard of the horn bone? It's the thing that holds up the horn. What, you think horns just... You think horns are just naturally able to hold themselves up? Nah. They need help. Okay, there we go. Alright, now I can throw this dang shale. Or not. Alright, I already put it on the ground. And now we need a crown. Goblet. Um, crown. Yes, I can make it out of horns. Cool. And wear that. And put my dagger on my body. Alright, cool. I should probably take some meat from that guy, too. I should probably take my knife out. Oh, I could have, uh... I could have butchered with my spear. I forgot that that's a thing that you can do. Okay. Ibex meat. I'll just take five. For... Oh, God. Because I am such a small creature, these, uh, five meats are too much for me to handle. Great. I'm sure it'll be fine in the future. Oh boy. Let me travel a little bit so that I can waste some of this food. Okay. Eat. Eat liver. Oh, I'm up to 999 now. How are my stats? Have I increased any anything there? <laughs> I'm already up to above average strength. And high senses. Oh boy. <laughs> Look at me, Minmax Master Critzibear. We find something else to ruin the life of. You know, I might be able to handle a hippo now if um I can get him in the eyes. What since I'm able to sneak and all. Hey, another badger. I'm gonna fight you normally. A vast fiend, prepare. For the beating of a lifetime! Where's my spear? Well, oh, it's up at the top. Okay. Prepare for the beating of your life! Creature! You're not gonna attack me? There we go. Now we're fighting. Oh, right. I'm already, um... No, not close combat. Um... Strike! Strike the creature! Alright, well, that was a wholly disappointing fight. <clears throat> Let me get, get rid of that one. So we just got some, uh, plain striding wind sounds. Looking for anything else that might be fun to listen to. Hmm. <laughs> I actually had a harmonica. Can, okay, you can stop now. Thanks. I actually had a harmonica. 
and I tried to learn how to play it, but then somebody, I don't know who, I legitimately have no idea who, decided to shove it down into, you know those holes in, all, in uh, houses where radiators used to go, and some people just freaking leave them in the floor? Somebody shoved my harmonica down one of those holes, and it landed on a support beam in the basement, where I was no longer able to reach it, and quite frankly, I don't feel like hauling a chair down into the basement to get a harmonica back. Why is it so bright outside? I wonder if it's a full moon. Oh, anyway. Yeah, it's been about as long as I wanted this episode to be. Let me find one more thing to attack, and we should be good. Um, do I gain swimming skill? I don't think so, since I'm a natural-born swimmer, what thanks to my rat genes. Back in my hometown, they called me Kupo the Rat. I just can't fathom why. Maybe it's because I'm clever, like a rat. <laughs> and handsome, like a rat. And able to fit into small places. And poop like a rat. Oh, I've gone out of the... Oh, shit, it's dark. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Um, where's the map? I'm the map. Oh, God, I spawned so far away from civilization. This is gonna be a doozy. Oh, boy! You better get ready for a hoedown, little doggies! Or not. Beginner's luck, I guess. Come on, make it through the night. Just go west. Go west. Go west through the night. Stop for nothing. You must make it to... What is that town's name? I wish, wish I knew how to look at the map in this new version. Map... Ah, my eyes! Jesus Christ, this is neat, though. I like this full-view map. Go west and do not stop. You must make it to... Quabuk. Quabus. Quobus. Oh, no, Quogobus. You must make it to Creamy Calls. Else the creatures of night will have your soul. Never mind. It's daytime now. You're good. You're fine, kid. Oh, my God. What is happening? Oh, Jesus Christ. Look at this city. Oh, it's huge. Why? What is going on here? I want to save it in case that crashes me. What is going on in there? I might save that for next episode. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait to see what that, that's about. It looks like it's got like 15 meat halls in it. Or more, probably. Not to mention like the massive siege surrounding it. Hopefully since I'm like completely unknown, nobody will question me going into the city even though it's supposed to be under lockdown. Whatever. Anyway, it was nice to play this. Oh, man, I missed Adventure Mode. It's, you know, it's a perfect palate cleanser after, you know, a relatively boring Fortress Mode run. I'm happy with this. But if you really want me to go back to uh, Fortress Mode and finish what I started, uh, I'll, I'll do that if you want. But for now, I'm having fun with this. Black. Why am I waiting for it to save? Sorry, bye!